Sideboard tutorial for beginners, all you need to start with sideboard. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily use this online whiteboard called Zideboard. The website is zideboard.com. So here we are on the homepage. As you can see in the top of the screen we can find some information. You can discover it by your own. So let's click on start drawing now to come to our like first virtual whiteboard on Zideboard. In the left top corner we can find the option to log in or sign up. I suggest you to create an account. You can easily create it with email or Gmail or Facebook. So in my case I'm going to use a Gmail account as for me this is the easiest variant. And here we are basically this uh, whiteboard was successfully created and there is like some tips as for us. Let's have a quick tour with our instruments. In the right top corner we have the option to switch between uh, like pen and also the eraser. Also we have like notes, we can add sticky notes, we can add edit sticky notes or add to do. So basically it's pretty cool because we have options like this. I think that we can easily add, write something and then just interact. So basically uh, we can create to-do list by simply using this object here. In order to place the text we just simply need to add a dot somewhere as you can see right up here. And now we can easily start writing. So let's write. And as you can see text was successfully added to our uh, like whiteboard. So basically this is right up here. So we can also click the tool icon twice for the opening panel. So if we'll click on the pen twice we can find uh, a lot of options. We can change the text size, we can change the uh, size of our pen. We can also switch to like pro versions if we need. Uh, we can add the rectangle, we can add circles, uh, we can change the color and we can also find some pro tools but in order to use them we just simply need to subscribe so let's go back and as you can see with a long press on any item of the canvas the check we can check the options so basically we can easily interact with like rectangles errors and so on and we can also drag and drop an image or insert them from menu so in order to insert like images we just simply need to click on more in the left top corner and as you can see we have the option to insert image pdfs and mp3 and we can also visit this page here to find some answer for the questions and in order to discover the hotkeys we can find that if we are going to press on ll we can draw the line if we'll click on AA on our keyboard, we can draw the arrow. So basically it may look like this, like this, 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 this. If we're going to write the rectangle, we can just simply push the RR hotkey. We can also write, uh, create a circle. And if we're going to uh, write a straight arrow, we can LL plus AA. So basically we can write the arrow in the case like this and also we are going to uh, write the straight arrow, we can do it in the way like this. Basically these tabs are quite simple. And also if we can, we can zoom in and zoom out in the right uh, side menu, this option like this, if we are going to click on the home, we'll move to the start position right up here. And also basically that's all for today's like tutorial uh, with the uh, different features. If we are going to move a little bit down, we can find some challenges. We can type, we need to type, modify text, go home, uh, screen sharing, and then just lock an image. And if we'll click on a more in the left top corner, we have some options here where we can create a new board. So we can just simply create it from like a blank board or we can copy the current content. So let's create a new blank board. So let's click on create new. Let it be the board one, for example. And as you can see, the new board was successfully, successfully created. So now we can do everything from scratch. Also, we can save this board. We can easily go to my boards. And from this page here, we can easily find all of the boards we have. And here we can delete, we can share, or we can close uh, the board. So if you click on share, uh, we can find the link, we can share it with anyone and basically uh, we can make it the board like public of course. And also we can uh, add the email addresses uh, to share this board with. So all we need to do is just to paste. 
and also who can assess anyone with the link yeah let it be like this so in this case this is a way of how can we interact with our board members i think it's pretty cool and pretty easy we can also invite people and share to the view and if we're going to click on export we can export it with like as a png file as the svg pdf documents or the full board backup file with pro version so this is the way basically of how can we interact with the main features and I want to show you how can we easily build some schemas. So if you want to draw some rectangles, for example, we can just easily do it like this. And then we can just easily add some uh, errors, basically, let it be error like this, like this, like this, like this and like this. And in this case, the steps are quite simple. We can easily do it. Uh, when we can write some text, for example, step one, step two, step three, and so on. So it's pretty cool to uh, create some schemas for brainstorming, for creating some mind maps, and so on. And um, sometimes it could be a little bit hard because you know the navigation is not like at the as a similar. Uh, just a simple like, whiteboard. They have some specifics. We need to uh, easily understand how do they work, how uh, what can we do, how to make it easier to interact with that stuff. But basically, I think that Zideboard is pretty cool and it's pretty interesting and I suggest you to try to use it. If you're going to discover the paid plans, we can find that we have some plans. At least they have like starter, which is free forever. Uh, we have like one week pro option, one time payment for one week, five dollars. Monthly pro, nine dollars, and annual pro with eighty-five dollars. You pay once, and then you can use it, like, for a long time. Basically, on the free, we have like three boards, and the other plans have like unlimited plans, shared boards, unlimited, real-time collaborators, unlimited, uh, limited data traffic, and three basic colors. Uh, on the other plans we have like custom colors we can choose any color we need it's like not that big disadvantages as for free different sticky notes we don't have the highlighter pen on free we don't have backup export text chat and audio and video chat so if you're going to use it with your team it's better to use like monthly pro or maybe annual pro and i think it's pretty cool so basically this is the way of how can we use and interact with sideboard.com. Hope guys this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And of course, if you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.